Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We're just here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We just covered the hour and a half oral argument on the motion to dismiss Michael Cohn's lawsuit against essentially Donald Trump, but also some federal defendants. It has to do with when he was remanded here. I was here that day. He came in, um, he was on either furlough or home confinement. It's a little unclear. It was amid COVID. He came in and he declined to sign a, a media restriction and he was remanded to Otisville. Now, Judge Hellerstein of this court found that outrageous, uh, and he was released from Otisville. But this is the civil suit for damages. Um, now, Alina Haba, Trump's attorney, said the president is totally immune from this. You can't get anywhere with it. Um, and even Mr. Laufer, the lawyer for Mr. Cohen, uh, admitted that expanding Bivens, it's basically a way to bring individual liability uh, for federal claims it's maybe more complicated than that, but I, I'm going to put it that way, that expanding Bivens is a disfavored activity. But he said this is a unique situation. And Judge Lyman asked some, the, the presiding judge in this case, asked some um, hypotheticals that would lead one to believe that he's leaning toward Cohen. He made a point of saying, don't, don't read anything into hypotheticals. But he asked, could a president uh, just kidnap someone off the street? Could BOP turn up the temperature to 130 degrees? Uh, he sort of pushed every argument made by the defense uh, to its extreme. He's taken it under advisement. He didn't make any decision, but I will say it was pretty interesting. Here's one thing I want to say. Uh, yes, at the time, and, and not just at the time, I'm against the idea that, that to be on home confinement you have to agree not to say certain things. I'm against that. But people should be aware that uh, defendant Joshua Schulte, recently convicted uh, in connection with the Vault 7 leak to WikiLeaks, since 2018 was under a non-public until we got it unsealed essentially and tracked it back special administrative procedure that that banned him from any contact with media in any way whatsoever including recorded message or including writing or written letters that is pretty extreme that's pretty extreme and, and uh, you can read all about it in brutal kangaroo a book published book on amazon check it out there inner city press we're going to stay on this case and others here at the SDNY.